All right, in the second video, I'm going to show you how to start building up the walls of our pot, because we've got our base, of course, and we're going to be building up from this, because we've got to get at least six inches of height on our piece. So that's reasonably tall. So six inches, going for six inches. Okay, so I've got my base. So I'm nice and happy. And I've rolled out a coil that's about a quarter of an inch in diameter. And actually, this is a little bit wider. So I could make this a little more narrow. Try to make it even. Okay, and don't make a whole bunch of coils at the same time. There is a way that you can sort of speed this up a little bit, but I'll tell you that in a second. So I'm going to just kind of measure this so it's sort of flush with the outside. Okay, then I'm going to overlap and I'll take my knife tool, clean it off a little bit, and I'm going to cut through both and I can get rid of the extra, get rid of the extra, okay. And then I'm just going to attach them together and I'm going to not really score and slip this time because it's very wet clay. So just like we did the base, I'm just gonna sort of erase that line. Okay, so we have our little ringlets, we're making ringlets. Okay, so now let's measure it and make sure it's still the right size. If it got a little bit big, you can just kind of push it together a little bit, squoosh it together to make it kind of the right size. If it got a little small, you can just kind of roll it out and stretch it out so where it is, it's the right size. Okay. All right, so scoring and slipping this thing on there. So I'm going to score, of course, just like we did before. These scoring tools are really super nice and handy. And I'll do the same thing around the outside. Take off that extra clay. Okay. And now I've got my, my brush and my water. And I'm just gonna sort of dab it along. Probably only need to do it on one side. You could do it on two sides just to just in case. All right. And I will put the coil down. Sort of press it sort of firmly there. And it's attached. Now, there's one thing that you'll need to do sort of as you're starting out. And that's, we've got to do one more thing and sort of squish this down. So I'm going to take my hand and curve it, my non-dominant hand, and I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to do this. Sort of pressing down, not all of it, just kind of the edge as I go around the whole thing. And that got a little wet, so it's a little bit challenging. Now, if I don't put my hand out there, what's gonna happen is that it will push this out because a lot of times kids pinch or kids uh coil pots they'll just kind of keep going out and out and out if they're not holding the outside while they're smoothing it out and if it's a little hard to do this because you got a lot of water on there uh, we can just we can take one of the little sponges and we can sort of sponge that off Which it got a little stuck to the bait, to the table here. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got our first layer. Okay. And then we will just continue to create um, layers on top of that. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you. So, you may want your pot to go straight up. But, you know, you might want it to do other things, like vases go in, they taper in, they taper back out. They kind of come around you. I mean, you could make a, a bowl, you know, using, using coils. So I'm going to roll another coil here. It's going to be a pretty big one, I can tell. And again, let it, you're stretching it out this way. And you're lifting your fingers up. Get those fingers up. 
find the spots that are the wider and you can stretch that spot because if you keep stretching this in the same spot it'll just get really narrow and thin like if I do this you know it's gonna go whoa it's way too thin right there okay but again don't make these any thinner than a quarter of an inch that's kind of pushing it I'm actually gonna just do that that one looks pretty good that one looks pretty good now you might be tempted to roll out a bunch of coils okay so that way you can just pop, 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 build right up boom 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 get some height on these things okay um, but don't just be tempted to make a bunch of coils and leave them like this if you want you could make a bunch of ringlets so I could come in here and I could measure you know and I could cut and I could make some pre-made ringlets and then if I got like three or four of these puppies on here then I can just go drop 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 because what will happen is if this stays out for too long it'll dry and if you try to uh, bend this and curve this around when it is drier it will start cracking and it won't work as well okay as it dries the clay has memory it remembers in what original shape it was in so so again if we want to go straight up we make the same size ringlet as before and we just keep building straight up now if you want to start going outward we need to make sure that it's a little bit wider so I'm gonna just kind of stretch this a little bit roll that out and you would actually place this kind of on the edge kind of outward a little bit on there okay and if I attach that you can sort of see how that is going to come out and start coming out wider now just be careful if you do that right away and you go out and out and out, what will happen because it's wet is it's going to sink down and you're going to lose some of the height of your piece. Okay, so you might have to wait on that a little bit. Okay, so I could go out on there. And so I would score and slip, but I would also drag this down. I kind of skipped my score and slip step just to sort of speed things up a little bit. Okay, so I would attach that on there. Now, if you want your pot to start going in, Get some options here. Okay, I'm going to make a coil that is smaller than the last one. So I'm going to <clears throat> measure it up again, and I'm going to this time get it kind of go on the inside here. And I'll cut, and attach. And you see how that's kind of going on the inside there. I can attach it like that. So you can kind of see sort of what's happening already. It kind of goes out and then it starts going in. If you want to do this, you know, I would do a couple up, uh, then maybe a couple gradually out, and then have a couple gradually kind of go in. Because if you kind of go in out right away, uh, your change is going to be pretty quick and you're not going to, um, it's, there's going to be too much change and it's going to be sort of a different form than what you may have originally uh, wanted. Okay, so that's how to attach those ringlets and to bring them out. Again, bringing them out, a wider ringlet, larger ringlet, bringing them in, form in the walls, a smaller ringlet.